Hey guys, welcome on uh, Marius H V channel. Today I want to present to you how I'm uh, how I'm starting the process before an overhaul. So, like example, I want to make the overhaul for this preamplifier. It's one preamplifier from Sony. It's really really well built. Usually I'm doing like that. So I'm removing the covers to be visible everything on both sides. I'll show you this one. You see it's visible also on the other side. It's clear. You can see also the parts here on this side. Okay, so this is first thing. Second thing, I'm looking for uh, for the service manual, if it's available or not, I will search on the internet, on some databases, I have already some manuals, some copies, old copies from this, this, uh, these things, and I'm looking, and I'm looking for what I need. Okay, so I will suggest also to you to do like that, and uh, in my opinion, I think is the, the best way is to dismantle the, the the gear because in the manual usually the manuals are the they release the manuals when they made the first version of devices but you know usually a device it's uh, it's in a factory process about two three years depends how good was going on the market after first uh, first release so if they made some changings on the units later on you will not find on the manuals or you can find in the manuals if they put if they add this modification on the manuals okay so now this preamplifier it's opened and what i'm doing i'm taking a piece of paper a pen I'm taking also vernier. Why why I'm taking the vernier? Because usually I'm using the diameters of the capacitors and also the height of the capacitors and of course the PCM, the distance between the terminals. And I'm recording this. So I will start on the sections. So like example, this is the main power supply. Huh? I will check the values on the parts I'm writing on the paper after that I will compare with the service manual and I will see how it's going on but why I'm doing like that I told you I will have also on the paper it's easier for me to order the parts from uh, online platforms and also in the parallel with what I'm seeing here, I'm using the manual because in this in that way I can see if somebody here was playing before around the the unit. Because some people they are taking out the parts and they are putting other values. Usually I prefer to keep same values for the capacitance. And uh, I will try to increase one uh, one step on the voltage of the capacitance. And of course you can check the rest of the of the parts if they are okay or not and we are doing same for capacitors resistors trimmers transistors it doesn't matter what what part okay so i said first 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 uh, first board i'm checking all the capacitors i put on the paper i'm starting with the value with the capacitance and after that with the voltage yeah? so you see main power supply Capacitance of first capacitor, voltage, which is written on the capacitor. And here is 25 is the height, 38 is the diameter, and the PCM is 13 millimeters. Yeah. Okay, and I'm doing like that for all the all the all the stages, all the boards. And if it's a non-polar capacitor, I'm writing here NP. And later on I will follow the list and I don't know I know how and what to order okay this is how I'm doing 
checking, inspection, everything. Like example, because I have here on this display amplifier, I have two trimmers. This trimmers here. Okay, are open trimmers, and usually they are oxidating with years. And I prefer to, to replace this. I'm, us I'm using trimmers from Burns, which are fully sealed. And usually multi-turn, if I will not find multi-turn, single turn, but also from Burns and fully closed. Okay, after that, according with the list, I will put the covers back for the, for the unit, for the preamplifier. Or the unit which is it's used on the desk, and I'm thinking like that for the audio section. I'm using some kind of co of capacitors for the power supplies. I'm using other kind of of capacitors for the tuners. I'm using other kind of capacitors, and also my rule of thumb it's like that. Everything what is from 0 0.00001 to 4.7 microfarads. I putting I'm putting all the time film capacitors. How I'm keeping the film capacitors? Like that. You see, I have a box, some values here, and I'm picking up capacitors according with the value which I which I need. Yeah, this is how I'm doing with with this. Here are film capacitors. This is about film, and on the other side I have bigger capacitors, but I will show you in the moment how I'm keeping this. You see 4.7 microfarads from Vima. It looks like that. You have to pay attention for dimension, because if you are comparing one, this 4.7 microfarad capacitor, film capacitor with one electrolytic, you will see this one is much, much bigger. Okay, so I will, I will, I will take the camera and I will, I will record also there. About the film, like I said, depends on the section in preamplifier, amplifier, tuner, doesn't matter what is the device. I'm looking for suitable, uh, suitable uh, series of the capacitor and also the brand. Usually, like brands, I'm using Vima, Nichicon, Nippon, Epcos. Here, like you see, like you will see now, I have two boxes with different values from Elna Silmic too. Here are small value from I think it's here is 0 0.47, but I like I said I would, I'm not using this small values. Okay, so here it's Elna Silmic 2, also Elna Silmic 2, but bigger values. You see, like example, this one it's you see how big it is, and it's only 470 microfarads and 50 volts. I'll put back. Close the box. Here I have a little bit bigger values. Same, I'm storing like that. And of course, here it's another organizer with parts. I don't know if it's visible. It's visible. You'll see. It's written 470 microfarads. And here I have different value from Nichicon. From uh, you see, like example, this is Nichicon audio grade K K K K K K K K A series. You see, usually I'm using this brand. I'm very happy with this one. I like how it sounds. But on the other side, and R one zero five degrees, one o five degrees. On the other side, I'm using from Nichicon this fine gold, which is only 85 degrees depends when you are uh, where you are putting inside this this uh, this uh, series are for uh, for audio section also here is 470 but these are for for power supplies you see different color different brands like example this is a philips you see philips 100 volts 470 microfarads this is from Vichy BC. Okay, and this is how I'm, how I'm storing, you see. And time to time, I'm 
putting putting back the capacitors which I'm using because if you are using for sure the boxes they will come empty you see like example here it's a bipolar capacitor 47 microfarads and 50 volts look how big it is comparing with with this one which is 447 microfarads and 100 volts you see the difference between one normal and one non-polar okay 33 microfarads 22 this green are from uh, Nichicorn, also bipolar this is the audio grade let's say bipolar it's really really nice sound you'll uh, you'll go to this okay 10 also you see bipolar also this is a serious Nichicon 10 microfarads okay let's focus don't laugh about my finger if you don't pay attention you will make some some colors on your fingers on your nails okay so this is 10 microfarads and 50 volts same like i said it's other series it's not ES. here it's 4.7 3.3 but i told you instead to use that in the last years i started instead to use this 4.7 you see this 4.7 is 25 volts but this is also bipolar We'll take this one from Firewall 4.7 microfarads, the capacitance, and the 100 volts. And you'll see what is the difference now. You see the difference, it's okay on the camera, it is not so big, but real when you'll put on the board and the, when his place on the board, you, will, you can encounter some problems. So you have to pay attention about this. But you can, like I said, you can use the vernier, you can measure on the board, the distance, and after that you will measure the part, parts, and you will see if it will fit inside the holes, this is the PCM, like I said, yeah, and everything, it will be, it will be easy. Okay, 2.2 here on top, you see are a lot here because I'm not using anymore these small values okay here are 0 0.47 0 0.68 1.5 usually 1.5 it's used on the radios and you see this one for 0 0.1 are a lot a lot of them so this is one box and then on the other drawers i have different stuffs but it's no discussion about this okay so let's uh, let's continuing our our discussion so list pick up the capacitors according with the with the section inside the unit and after that like you see here i put each unit main power supply power supply number one power supply number two flat and plus in and outlet aq and phono section yeah with the list what remains for order we will order and when the parts they will they will uh, they will come to to the door i will uh, i will put the parts inside inside some uh, zip bags and the zip bags they looks like that you see preamp name of the device psu number one so here are the capacitors for the this group yeah and i'm keeping like that and when I will make this restoration, it will be very easy to, to follow the list, the bag, and the, and the restoration. Eh? You see, AQ Phono. This is the last one. Eh? Same. Like you see inside red, it's, uh, it's Vima. This yellow orange are from Epcos, are 125 degrees. Okay, here it's PSU number two power spine number two also gold and vmi and of course main power supply unit some capacitors here also 
and the preamplifier section. No, flat in out or preamplifier yeah, and corrector. Also some film capacitor and the Elna Silmic tool capacitor. So this is how I'm doing with this. Like I said, I want to show to you the other uh, other uh, section with uh, spare parts uh, locker. I see. This also are big capacitors here with different values: Elna, Nichicor, Nippon. Yeah. Film capacitors, other film capacitors with different values. It looks like that 4.7, 2.2, and on the other one, which is not visible, it's 1 and 3.3. The small values you saw on the, on the first box, which I showed to you, also other audio capacitors. I'm storing like that. You see, different, diverse audio, different kinds. And this is how I'm doing with, uh, with this, uh, these restorations. Also, I'm keeping some of them in some bags because I don't have uh, designated uh, drawers for this. Like example, you see here, it's it's uh, bipolar also. About the trimmers, I want to discuss also about the trimmers because I mentioned this from the beginning. So I said the trimmers are not completely sealed on uh, vintage gears, and I'm uh, I'm using, like I said, one turn and multi-turn trimmers from uh, from Burns or single or or single turns depends of uh, depends of the stocks. What is on stock? So one open, one open, but also this one is new, one open trim pot, it, it looks like that, and usually this silver sides, it's oxidating, but the most problematic on the, on the trimmers, and also on some potentiometer, the oxidation came between this metal part and the carbon resistive pad, and if you have there inside, this deposit you lose the contact and it's really really problematic if you will have this kind of this kind of trim pots opened on the bias adjustment idle adjustment because there are very high chances to to fry to fry the power transistors so this is one is one example of burns trim pot this is sealed you see, it's written here, Burns, on top, 3296 series. And this is multi-turn, it's about 12 turns. You can turn 12 times, comparing with this one, which is almost 1. So, like example, if this one is 100 ohm, this one is also 100 ohm, you will have 100 ohms after one turn. Here you will have 100 ohms after 12 turns. Okay? And it's completely sealed. You see, everything is done here on, on the bottom. And after that, it's on uh, epoxy glue, fix it on top. And this one, it's uh, also from Burns. It's one turn, sealed also. And the series for this one, it's Burns. I cannot see. 3386. It's written here on this side. 3386, yeah. So this is this is the parts what I'm using for this restoration. If you want to talk also about resistors or diodes or I don't know some something else, transistors, thermal pads, silicon transferring compound, what I'm using, leave comments, and I will try to to show to you how I'm uh, how I'm dealing with that. If you like what you saw on this video, thumb up. Share with others, leave comments, subscribe, and uh, stay safe. All the best. Cheers.